39 minutes after the hour. Don't run for the door unless you've got the green on today. In New York, St. Patrick's Day Parade, the world's oldest and largest parade of its kind, run entirely by volunteers, takes months of prep. Believe me, it does. If you're going to do anything in New York, it takes months of prep. Hey, throwing a birthday party in the park takes months of prep. All right, uh, to pull something like this off every the parade kicks off around 11 a.m. Two million spectators are expected to line the route, and we're, we've got a few showers to start uh, up Fifth Avenue, fi uh, finally ending in front of the American Irish Historical Society. Now, in this parade, there's no floats, there's no balloons. Uh, it's really just a pedestrian parade, a parade and there's more than 250,000 marchers and bands and bagpipers. There's an inclusive group uh, of NBC Universal that's in it as well this year. Hey, John Bertino and Holly DeRosa of Iona College are getting ready for the parade right now. Can't even get to the parade route just yet. Uh, and, and good morning, guys, in the full kilt. I'm looking at you right now. How's it going? Good morning, how are you? I'm good, John, how are you? Holly, how are you doing? Doing fine. Good. All right, what time did you guys have to get up to get like geared up and ready to go this morning? Are you caffeinated up or how are we doing? Uh, I woke about I woke up about 6:30 this morning. I uh, put my kilt on. It takes about 15 minutes for everything to get uh, settled and ready to go. And then uh, the pipes at least take about another 30 minutes to 40 minutes to to warm up. Oh, okay, let's talk and let's get into the bagpipes because to me it's like you're wrestling an octopus um, and it's it's a it's amazing to me that any sound at all can come out of that and you've got to march a long way while you're doing it. Just tell me what goes into making this all work. There's squeezing, there's blowing, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff happening here. So pretty much uh, what you have to do is you have to fill the bag and then uh, by applying pressure with your arm, the air is distributed throughout the three drones and then the chanter, which is actually what um, plays the tunes. Okay. So, okay. There's certainly a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, there is. But how do you even get involved in liking to play the bagpipes? Because it's not something that, you know, it's just everywhere. This is, how do you even get to this, John? Uh, that's a that's a really tough question. I mean, I'm 100% Italian, but I, I, I play the bagpipes, you know, with a name like Bertino. Uh, but I fell into it uh, because my friend played in high school and he said, John, you know, you'd be really good on the bagpipes. And I, and I tried it. My mom was a little skeptical. She was like, John, what are you doing? You know, how come you're playing the bagpipes? You're Italian. But I fell into <laughs> <laughs> Ken Tori's over here laughing too, just so you know, John. Hey, but we're glad you are because you look great in the kilt. Holly, you guys look amazing. You've got a long parade route this morning. I'm just a little concerned about the start. Uh, and getting a little, you know, it's okay if the bagpipes get just a little damp, right? Uh, yes, uh, bagpipes are very temperamental in the weather, so we usually tune to the environment that we're playing in. Uh, usually when we play outside in this kind of weather, it tends to go flat, especially during the March season. All right. And builds up in, within the reeds. All right, well, let's give you the forecast. In your My Weather forecast, right now we have clouds for you at 11 a.m. start time, but I gotta say, and Jim and I have looked at the radar, I'm not quite sure this last line of rain will have pulled out, so I would kind of the first few steps probably involve a sprinkle or two, uh, but by the time we get a little bit later this morning, and certainly by the time you get to an hour into the parade, that should be done for you. Cloudy skies, you're in the 50s, it's a fairly comfortable march. It's not like the last few times you've had to go up the parade route where you were 35 degrees last year. You remember that one? Do you remember the cold one? Awfully cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's the chapped knees problem. All right, you guys, thanks so much. Uh, can you give us just a little bagpipe, just a little tune up so we get in the feel? Sure, sure. You don't need the day. Yeah. One, two. That's what it's supposed to sound like. The warm up, the warm up always catches you off guard. John and Holly, thank you very much. Jen, it's all about I was the temperature. I was a little concerned when you heard the warm up at the very <laughs> beginning, but I, I love the true sound of the bagpipes. How cool is that? And how great are they? To